Okay, welcome to another video. This is PBS Tutor. I've got an exam question. This is paper one mathematics and it's about the errors. Right. Now, this question says for the onion of mass 15.4 plus or minus 0 0.05 kg, find the tolerance and find the elliptic error. Now, you can find the tolerance in two ways. The first way is it. So method one we find the tolerance, we can say, so let me put method one here. Method one, tolerance is equal to absolute error, absolute error to multiply by two. Alright? Now our absolute error in this case is the value given here. Okay. So our absolute error is 0 0.05. We multiply that by 2 and it's giving us 0 0.1. So this is our tolerance. Another method is let me put method 2 here. Method 2. Method 2 is the difference between the highest value and the lowest value. The highest value is 15.4 plus. 0 0.05 you can tell it's like there's a, there's a plus and a minus minus the difference between the highest and the lowest so the difference is what we're talking about here this minus is not coming from here no it's a difference i'm talking about so the difference between the highest value and the lowest value the highest value is the one that goes the plus there and the lowest value is the one that goes the minus there so when you add here, you, you, you are getting 14.45 minus, when you subtract here, what are you getting? Uh, so let's subtract, so 15.45, so 4 minus uh, 0 0.05, when you subtract, you have 1 there, which is 5, you have 3, Point five like that. So we have 15.35, right? Now we subtract this two again. This two, 15 and 15 will give you zero. That's a fact. That would be zero point. We know that here and here is zero, right? That would be zero. Four minus, four minus three is just one. So you can get that just the same as this one here, right? Because even here, since 5 times 2 is 10, so we have to put 0, remainder 1. 2 times 0 is 1, that's the one that was in there. So even here is giving us the same. So whatever method you prove, for myself, I prefer this method because I feel like this can give you more marks than this one. So I prefer this one myself. Whichever you prefer, I don't know, but I prefer that one. Find relative error. Now, relative error relative error is equal to the absolute error absolute error you divide by the true value you divide by the true value now what is your absolute error your absolute error in this case is the line by there so we are putting 0 0.05 we divide by the true value is this one here so 15.4 so this value here is the absolute error, and this value here is the true value. So how do we make this as a fraction in a simple step? We need to look for a number in tens, hundreds, or thousands that you can multiply on top and down to give you a one number. And you can tell see that on top here there are many zeros, there are two zeros. Alright. So if I multiply this number by 100 to give me um, if I multiply this number by 10, first of all, it will give me um, 0 0.20, 0 0.5. If I multiply by 100, give me 5, right? Alright, so we'll say that by 100, giving down here by 100. So doing that, it, it gives me 5 up there, and here it will give me 15, 4, 0. See 9? So now 5 can go into 5 how many times? 1. And 5 can go into 15, let's say into 150, uh, 30 times remainder A. For there which will give us 8. So that is the answer, the tolerance in the lowest t uh, for the, as, a, as a simplest ratio. Alright. 